we have a similar story. That day. <laughs> you even got several call-ups. Mm. You know, after my first night of a thousand laughs, I never got a call-up again for seven years. And as you and I know, back in those days, mm. if you are not yes. on night of a thousand no, laughs, no, your, your career is <laughs> your career is dead. Forget it. Champions League. No, not Champions. <laughs> that's like that's like not playing the Champions League. Mm. So I understand that thing you're talking about. So that's mm. what gave the fire to AY Life at the mm. Muson Center. Yes. The first time. The first one. Well, I seem to remember you the first time in that mm. Sele get yeah. up, doing all of that. I think mm. Shea Ibrahim was on stage, acting, yeah, and all of that. And from there, it just took off. Mm -hmm. And you have this thing with serendipity. It just happens mm. to you like that. That's how you also got into the movies. It wasn't like exactly. you planned it. Exactly. You were also stuck <laughs> or something, and your wife said, why don't you try movies? Oh, you 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 followed you followed my interviews then. I'm your guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your guy. Yeah, yeah. I said this in one of your interviews that the one in Lagos, I guess. I, I can't even remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember somewhere we talked about. It. Yes, she did. She did because I I hey, why like there's this performance. It was not good at all. I wasn't feeling myself. Not the talk of the people feeling me. So it was bad. Mm -hmm. So. I went backstage and all that, you know, it was all teary. Always, I always get really, really emotional when things don't go well. And, all. and then, you know, it's, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, uh, even though this is your skates, you see the way people are liking, loving your skates. By the time you, you know, put all this thing together into like a proper movie too, that's another opportunity. And that was how we did 30 Days in Atlanta. And that's how we became the box office king. Really? <laughs> Everything, something must happen. So that's why I keep waiting for people to do something to me. Every time they do something to me, something happens. They do something to me, something happens. So I'm the one looking for them now to do something to <laughs> they me. They want to come do something. Yeah, yeah. They just did one to me of recent. They gave me MFRO. Anything, just be, do, just be doing whatever you like to me. Yeah, talking of that MFRO. So I mean, you got this award, you know, everybody should be happy. And there's this blowback that you're getting, saying that how would you receive the yeah. award and all of that. And of, my course, <laughs> I, and of course, your, your, your reply to that was that, look, this is a national thing. Yeah, so it's not an individual thing. It's not. You should understand it. It's like your nation saying that, well done for the good work that you're doing. It's not the person sitting, you know, there in that office that is giving you the award. This is a country. That's why it's called national honors. And then when they put that on you, it means a lot. It means a lot. People should learn to. So you expect me to reject it? Say, oh, Cheno Achebe rejected. That's him. He had his reasons to do that. You know, whoever rejected it had their reasons uh, to do that. But I am excited about it. Mm. For me, it's a plus. For me, it's a way of saying to myself, hey, why you have worked real, really, really hard. And uh, the nation recognizes your effort. Yeah. Um, why should I, you know, relegate myself to the background because somebody believes that the man sitting there is one of the people I was talking about, talking against the government, but that will go and receive awards. Yes, my talking against the government at the time was for the government to do better. And now, if the country, because they, if they were really going to do politics, for you to know that I really deserve the awards. That is even enough reason for them not to put me on any list. Yeah, because you were you were against them. Yes. You, were, you were in the opposition. Yes. So they should have given so it's you the award. It's enough reason not to put you on the For me to be on that list is like beyond all reasonable doubt. Yes, like his merits cannot be doubted. Yes, yeah. the world sees it. We will expose ourselves if his name is not on this list. And they, they are just talking. They, they gave me MFR which is higher than the one given to all the other entertainers. Look, I wasn't sure I was going to ask you. <laughs> you got MFR, yeah. which is higher. Please, please explain yourself. <laughs> you have, how? Because I'm looking at the thing and I don't understand it. You're getting the step that is... You, look, you're getting a step that is usually reserved for captains of industries and so on. Uh, how did that make you feel? Awesome. Great. I just popped my champagne the first day I got the news. I was strolling around my house and smiling. Yeah. And the song in my head was, look at you, boy. See how far you've gone. And there was, look, and as far as you know, as far as you know, there was nothing that you did. It was just you doing your work and you got the call. It's nothing That's that you did. There's not any lobbying that I you did. did. I don't even know. I just woke up and my name was on the list. 
As a matter of fact, someone saw it and forwarded it to me. They had seen it. Congratulations. I didn't know where the congratulation was where it was coming from. Yeah. You know. Until I saw Alibaba's write-up on his page, yeah. you know, saluting my courage and everything. He was so proud. And I'm happy about it. You know, it's, it's amazing. If you had to dial it down, now of course I know it's a combination of all the things that you do in part, but if you had to dial it down to the one that is the core, the major holding, holding factor, which of the many things that you do, the movies, the comedy show, uh, your presence, which of the many things that you do do you think is responsible for your standout uh, achievement, your, your ability, uh, your success, so to speak? I, I, I would think... I would think it's the. If you say that come out every time, you choose one. <laughs> I, I would think I would think it's the show, the A Y show. The A Y life. That's amazing right? to yeah. me. It but a comedy a show. Because before then, they had given me another uh, another National Daily had given me an award, yeah. uh, the comedian for a decade. Yeah, I think I saw that on social media yeah. where you mm -hmm. entered the car with your wife yes, yes, and you yes, came yes. down and you walked yes. into this place yes. that had all the captains of mm -hmm. industry yeah. and I'm looking at you. So it's the AY show. It's the AY show. It's, it's that show that sells mm -hmm. as the, the hotel. And of course, I mean, that's that's the same. That's the AY live brand which gave birth to every other thing, including movies and whatever, because yeah. nobody would have looked at you now. They already have something that they know you with. So mm -hmm. you're doing something that's like you're branching off yeah. to do another business and they're following you because you already have a following okay so they follow you into this yeah new business just like uh just like instagram and uh thread thread right? now okay so you see? so following. once you move yeah it's, it becomes easier because you've already built a brand yeah so the following will be easier okay. they'll just follow you okay let's go see what this guy that we love here is doing on this other side so it's usually a post that's why i keep telling people it's very, very important to build a brand. Mm -hmm. Once you build a brand, that brand name can, you can, you can be AY Pure Water, it can be AY Gary, AY whatever. It will still fly because you already have a following. Now, speaking of all this feedback and what you get, uh, recently, so I watched this interview where you did and you spoke about this, uh, you spoke about this relationship between you and basket mouth and all of that. So this is what I'm thinking when I'm watching it. I'm thinking, how come as a comedy industry player, <laughs> I did not know <laughs> how this did they happen? <laughs> and I did not when, know it. Where, how? No, where, how? No, no, <laughs> look, don't, don't get me wrong. No. I knew, of course, that you weren't best friends, you know. I mean, not everybody is best friends with everybody yeah. in our industry, but as you said in that interview, we all generally get along well, you know, but to have that level of acrimony going on and not to know about it, I was, I was shocked. But this was what came to my mind. Did our brosses also not know about this? And I mean, we don't have a lot of them, a lot of men to whom we look up in the industry, but there are a few. Did, did, they, not, did they not know about this? Because usually they will know about those types of yeah, things. Yeah, they knew. They knew uh, 100%. They knew, uh, you know, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the emotional one who does, I don't really, you see this thing called anonymity, it's not my thing. I can't, I don't, I wonder how people go to bed, you know, having someone in mind and you, you go and sleep and you're fine, your life goes on. You know, I keep telling people, for any of this to happen, it would be that this guy really hurt you, did something really, really bad, maybe even took your wife. So that would be how bad it would be for me to not think or consider. As long as nobody kill anybody, nobody steal from anybody, it's just a misconception, a misunderstanding, you know, which two grown-up men can just, over a bottle or two, just talk about. you resolve Guy, that thing, pay me. Oh, guy, the one way you do to pay me. And then you go, you shake your hands, you drink, and then life goes on. You know, people say I don't look my age. I will never look my age because I don't keep, I don't talk things in. I don't, I can't keep it there. So I'll be smart, I'll be bright, I'll be, I'll be everything clean. You know, from, from your own vision, what you see. Because everything inside of me is working. There's no animosity, nothing that is dragging me back. Because I wouldn't allow it. 
So yes, the bros is new, and uh, at some point in time, they had to ask me to slow down. Like you, 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 you're doing too much. You're putting too much effort to make this. If uh, friendship you, is not, you're trying too much to, yeah, to mend yeah. this broken bridges. Yeah, friendship is not not do or die. Force. It's not by force. And now, finally, I was still believing that no, this this can work. This can. You know, even my last stand-up comedy, I had to go on stage and I did another routine. And then my guy, who's my guy, this this is my guy, say this guy, tell him he's my guy. And the following morning, boom, everywhere exploded again. We're not friends, we're not this, we're not that, we're not that. Oh, like, no, let me get this right. Yeah. You went on the comedy stage, you said, hey, this guy is my guy. Mm -hmm. And the next morning, yeah, two he, days after, he precisely, replied and he said, uh, no, probably, you know the way this thing works. <laughs> Everybody, they do their timing. Okay. Probably that interview, uh, uh, that interview had happened. Okay, so it was the coincidence so, that it happened So, I mean, about. then the release... Okay, so so the producers <laughs> of that, having seen what you said, yeah, so, now chose that moment to, you know, release that. So just release and all of that. So, and the follow-up now looked like it. And so for me now, I'm not pushing anything anymore. As I'm here now, I say why. If I have to go to my grave, not sitting with any of these guys to say hello, I, I'll be happy. The only good thing about all of this that I will say is that what if the situation were different? Like my story was this very sad one and then these are the people I probably would have run to as brothers. Mm -hmm. Please help my life, mm -hmm. help my career, help my situation. What would have been my case? Hmm. This is me now. God has blessed me as well. Yeah. God has blessed me. Yeah. This is me now, but I still face that level of animosity, animosity, rejection here and there. And then I begin to wonder if you were a nobody, complete nobody, I would have been dead because there's no way I would have gotten these people to say, okay, uh, if you think I did something bad to you, Forgive me, let's move on. And you will just leave me in that pit and I will wallow in my But have you darkness. considered that maybe it's perhaps because of your success? Well, you never can... I read the comments, so people say what they want to say. And um, they are all equally successful. So... Yeah. I mean, does it doesn't matter yeah. if, uh, you know, if you're successful and I'm no, successful. Everybody, everyone, is, everyone is successful. Everyone is doing well. Everyone is doing well. God has blessed. And that's the reason why I feel we don't even need all of this. So like, like now yes. it's clear that yes. truly it's, it's, it's true what they say, mm -hmm. that the sky is big enough. It's wide enough for all everyone so, 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 so now it's clear that we are mm -hmm. all successful. Can mm -hmm. we at last mm -hmm. be friends? Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, friendship is not by force. Mm -hmm. Friendship is not by force. I have I've experienced it. I've seen it. You know, I've seen, you know, it's, it, it's really, really, really painful to just wake up and friends become enemies. It's painful. See, my other brother practically caught me like a witch or witchcraft, so to speak. Who did? Your, fr your brother Julius, he didn't see Julius's interview. Oh, you know the strange thing? Oh, you know, oh, now that you bring it up, you know the strength thing? <laughs> that thing where he was on stage? Mm -hmm. you, you know the strength thing? Mm -hmm. Do you know I was standing to the side of the stage? You're kidding me. Oh, no, I was on that stage. It was, I, I was on that stage. <laughs> what were you doing there? At the side? Were you in town? Where? I was in town. I was in town a couple of weeks ago. Really? I was in Lagos a couple of weeks ago, you know. So... <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are you kidding me Oh, now? no, I was on that stage. But, but when that started, I, I felt that, okay, maybe... It wasn't proper to be there, so I was on the side of I, I was on the side of the stage when that was happening, and I and I found it sort of strange, you know, that that was happening. But apparently, you found it stranger. Guess what? They forwarded that to me because he had said one before about stealing the dates, uh, taking the Easter Sunday, yeah. which was his right, and I didn't remember at what point. Yeah, you know, it was his right to have a home the day i didn't see it anywhere you know so i was still dealing with that because i'd seen a radio interview yeah so i just ignored i didn't say a word and all that and then i saw this one now this one 
was the one I said to myself, no, you can't take this. You know, at the, at the time I was saying that, I was thinking to myself that, ah, oh, man, this <laughs> thing is going to go viral maybe <laughs> this night. <laughs> I just said, it just, they forwarded it to me and, you know, do you know how, how painful it is? This was someone I was there for. I was there for him. When all the health issues started, my wife and I would go, would be there, made arrangement. I was there for him. I just want to, I can't go into details, what and what was done. Only for me to just wake up one day, the same me. That's why I put some stuff on my page. Okay. And I've said people should go and verify. Yeah, there was so much information. There were slides yeah. and slides yes. and slides. And people should just go there and verify. And when people saw everything, they just knew that, okay, it was not a problem here. Because all the dates you claimed you owned, you were doing something else, somewhere else, and all of that. I didn't know how Lagos was supposed to wait for you. That your umbilical cord, you know, is tied to that date. So if you're in London, Lagos will wait. Nothing should happen. The level of selfishness, wickedness, claims were just too much. And then I just finally got the answer. Nobody is happy that you're succeeding. Nobody is happy you're succeeding. Mm. Because they feel you don't deserve it. Mm. Hey, why you don't deserve to be the one enjoying all of this. Why? So that is where the pain why, why do they is coming from. Way? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's life. It's life. But I, I can tell you the truth. The difference between me and these guys, I'll tell you the truth. When I see them succeeding, for example, I would drive past Lecky and I'll see one of my colleagues, I mean, on, on B board and all that ambassador. Wow. As I'm driving, I'm asking, I'm saying to myself, Father Lord, when will I find myself, you know, this kind of position? I don't drive past him, hmm, and I start beefing. Oh, this one, waiting the talks every day to give up. You don't know. And guess what? In no time, I will drive past that same place. I'm seeing myself on the keyboard. <laughs> God has done it, you know? Yeah. So everything that, uh, you know, people see me, like yesterday, now people, they were looking at me, were taking pictures and they were like, ah, hey, well, it's time to go, it's time to go. But I usually don't go until the last person leaves. So until one the day, last person that wants a picture takes their picture yeah, and leaves. I don't I don't leave that place until the last person, until the last person leaves. And I'll tell you why. Because it was also a wish I made to God. I was Alibaba's PA at the time. So when we were traveling at the airport, I see people, shows, after gig and all of that. I'm holding his phones and everything. And I made him say, Father Lord, I wish the people would take picture with me like this. <laughs> so look at me today, and people are not coming. If I say, no, 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 no picture, God would punish me because I asked for it. Mm. And that's why I would always stand there and take the pictures until the last person leaves. Mm. By <laughs> principle. You know. You know, I had a protege ask me the same question not too long ago. We were somewhere and there was such a long queue of people and I was smiling through it. And he asked me afterwards, he said, how is it you smile through this? I said, because I've been in the position where you enter a room and nobody knows who you are. I said, this is a blessing. Mm -hmm. I said, you don't want the other side of this blessing. Yeah, no. You don't want to walk into a room after all this time and be like, that one, <laughs> that one, forget her. Yeah. You know, it's not so, that's, that's a blessed view to have. Okay, uh, finally, because I was getting to find <laughs> We must begin, believe it or not, we've been speaking for a while now. So, all of these things that have happened, ha, ha, have happened to you, this person said, that person said, uh, it seems to me that you've come out of all that even more loved by the public. Mm -hmm. It seems that uh, people like the underdog story. You're the one who seems to have been attacked. You, you don't seem to have lost anything in all of this. If anything at all, it seems to have strengthened you. It's just that, is that just my perception or am I correct about that? I, I'm also not happy to lose friendship. Yeah. So I, I still won't count it as a gain. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's just that the world, they love what they want to love. You know, sometimes some people want to see all of these clashes. 
you know, happen. Yeah, bad news sales yeah, and all that. And all that. It's not it's not what I really would love to form a part of my yes brand. I was yeah. performing in Atlanta and just before I would say a word or two, somebody from the audience just say, Basket man don't pay you your thirty K. Really? You know, and you know, everywhere. And that that took took me off the performance mm. for for a sec until I was able to get myself back. That's not what I just want. I don't want. Uh, that's not what I want to be running into. I want a place where people will look at us. I'm like your industry. I envy your industry. I love the fact that you guys are very much together. I love the fact that you guys are role models to the younger ones because what we're doing now, the younger ones in the industry, they are beginning to to copy it, and not knowing that they are doing the wrong things. Some are saying the wrong things to even senior colleagues mm. all in the name of let's look for a way to attack let's look for a way to build but they don't even understand the implication they don't even know that it will even affect their own journey mm -hmm. as they are traveling mm -hmm. because i didn't get here by making all that mistakes yeah you didn't strategize it no, like that no no i i was just doing my thing the focus was direct and with every order blessings that comes with it, the grace that comes with it. But here we are. Chedri, here we are. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Look, here we are. I could keep talking to you and all that, but congratulations. Uh, I have a question for, from my uh, director. He's the one I'm giving the opportunity. He wants to know, uh, I, th I think he might have answered it, but I should ask you the, the way he wants to know it. How do you, how do you come up with your concept? So I, I guess this is how he would ask it. We're having one of our strategic conversations one time. And you said to me, you said, uh, if I were you, where your talk show is now, the next thing I'd be looking to doing is interviewing Chris Rock. I'd be looking to interviewing Kevin Hart. Th that's the way you think. You, you have big think, mm -hmm. you know. So I guess what he wants to know is how did you develop big think? It's, it's one thing to want to be like other people. That means that you want to copy what they have done, but you don't seem to do that. You want to go one extra. You want to go two extra. You want to go be better. How do you have big things? You want to do a movie, for example, 30 Days in Atlanta. You're thinking of Angela Bassett. You're thinking of uh, Lynn Whitfield. You're thinking of all the people we know to be global superstars. How do you achieve that big thing that makes you think of those things? And more importantly, why do you think you can achieve those things? I just love to dream. And um, uh, my... My vision prepares me, prepares me in a way that I see myself in a direction that, I mean, it takes me there. It's like, how do you think, how do you draw attention to this product? How do you call attention to this product? This person can make you gain that attention. Okay, what do you do? How do you get this person so that that person coming alone will form the wow factor? To add value and before doing that i must have something on my own first that is working mm -hmm. because if you if you're not if you're not doing anything that is working you can attract mm -hmm. the other person to come mm -hmm. because they want to know what they're working in, into mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. so all of this started from way back remember you mentioned oh alibaba for alibaba to go to a campus show then for the likes of regina Askia to go to a campus show there or motola and the rest chegua rizzi this guy was taking them to the campus community way back then in Abraka. in Abraka so yeah it costs money but sometimes some of these people can also connect with you knowing how especially how you market it to them and then when they buy into it it expands your brand so as as they are coming in the growth process this just just is this increment there's something that happens when when you strategize, when you when you go in that direction. And for me, beyond value, that is how you're going to further expose your brand to the international uh, market, like the movie thing that you talked about now. Yeah. As for here, and I was shooting Merry Men 3, and they were doing a major scene in Atlanta involving some stunt actors, well-known to put. So just imagine something that is not common back home. You see like a bike go past a car, you see the police 
vehicles chasing each other and all that. I said, now, nah, AY fame for this. American police that is chasing each other, everything. You see that trailer alone. You want to go to the cinema and see what has this boy done again? Okay. So, the concept was sure. Yeah. That the business will come. Yeah, okay, so look, I can <laughs> see how you make money and get money to do yeah. more projects. Yeah. But where did you make the first money, the first big, big money that allowed you other money to do projects? Where did I make the first money? Yeah. Oh. Because this was what you said to me during one of our strategic conversations. I asked you how you got P-Square just after they had reunited mm -hmm. to come to your show. And what I always assumed as comedi comedians, because what we do is when we want to do a show, we call our colleagues. Oh, no, no, no. I've, it was going past that. They come and support. No, this one. But you pay market <laughs> rate. Because it's business. You want David O, you pay for it. You have had whiskey, you have had David O, you have had Bonner, you have You actually people. pay the market course, rate. You pay. The only thing that they can do for you is probably based on relationship and just give you some sort of discount. Yeah. But you you pay. You pay. I just did the last AY Live with Tiwa and the rest of them one they call. You must pay the money. So where did the first tranche of big money that you had come well, from this, that you this paid? Is, this is me, this is me thinking now. I think it was community effort. Too. It was just uh, it was just <laughs> I think well, I think family, we we're just putting our small money together. Yeah, the normal sister. way, that's how yeah. you raise your first seed yeah. money. You mm. put money together from all over the place. And, and, and people people love the fact that I wanted to do my thing. And so going to seek for favors for that first one yeah. really, really worked. I mean, the P-Squares did not really collect that kind of money from the first one. The two babas, the DJ Jimmy Jacks, all they came to do was show me love for that first one. Yeah. And that first one brought money. Yeah. And that money is the money that has been going into my business. That has turned date. over and over and over, yeah. and over and over. My brother, look, <laughs> God bless you. God bless when you Houston brother. doing this, <laughs> and long may we do it in many other parts of the world. Amen. God bless you. More Amen. success. Well done. All right. Yeah. Thank you.